this tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Started with animation. Hi there, this is a tutorial I did in I think February 2018 about NURB surfaces and curves. It was watched in the meantime by about 12 or 13,000 people and uh, I feel really honored and at the time when I made this tutorial I thought nobody would be really interested because we're living in a polygon computer animation and modeling world with the computer games such a massive industry and uh, obviously the game engines need polygons and they cannot handle NURB surfaces but uh, it seems that NURBS is still en vogue and since I come from the NURBS world I'm happy to share a little bit of NURBS modeling now with the attach command we have three surfaces here and they're very different. This torus, NURPS, all, all NURPS surfaces, you get them in the, they're the blue ones right here, uh, curves and surfaces. This is a torus with a quite decent resolution. This is, let me press F in order to see it, quite a high res uh, plane. And let me press A so I see all. And this is a very simple plane which is tilted to the side and um, actually I can tilt the torus as well. They have three different shaders which doesn't matter it's just for beauty and uh, I end this tutorial with a little bit of rendering but uh, this is uh, the rendering is uh, something special really and I like to render things when I like the shapes actually. So um, when we're here in the modeling menu set we see surfaces and let me just move this to this side. We have an important command for this tutorial which is reverse direction. It's not really topologically important but uh, it uh, is important for visualization. Also we need rebuild and basically this tutorial is about the attach command here. So uh, align and attach are similar but uh, quite different and I don't want to focus on align but only on attach. Just to show you briefly align, I select both of them and press align and you see that we have quite a nice surface here, a new surface, but actually in the outline you see that we have only the old surfaces and that's one of the difference between differences between the align and the attach command because the attach command creates a totally new surface for us and that's uh, quite a cool thing really. Now I want to attach both of these surfaces. The same thing I just did with align now with attach. Keep in mind that we have two surfaces of totally different resolution. This one is so simple and large and this one is quite complex. So attach. And you see that we already have quite a nice surface. It looks a little bit like the align surface but it is uh, a totally new surface. It's called NURBS plane to attached surface 1. So we can basically hide the previous ones, press H, and here we have the new one. Let's give the new one one of our shaders here, for example the green one. So this is the new surf surface we have and um, when we go to the attribute editor we see blend bias, we can uh, change the topology slightly, we can go from bend to connect, so that's a harsher connection bend keeps the, the flow of the curves and uh, here we can reverse directions for example here so it depends on how we want the two to be attached and if we for example like this one here we need what I mentioned at the very beginning the reverse direction so we see the shading properly so let's stick to this one for now uh, a nice surface when we get closer we see that we don't have many we don't have much geometry right here in this part let's check the amount of spans we have 15 by 8 these are the 15 1 2 3 4 5 15 and 
8 is this number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And uh, if we want to rebuild the surface in order to get more resolution right here and maybe less over here, we need to keep these numbers in mind. So back to this menu here, we now rebuild the surface. So from 15 to 8, for example, to 20 by 20. Let's apply this and you see we have a much nicer distribution of spans here, isopalms. Now I want to attach this new surface to the torus. I select both of them and I think the selection order, which one I pick first and which one last, is not important here. But um, now I can go to attach again and nothing happens. But we do have a NURBS plane 2 attached surface, one attached. <laughs> so it's a double attachment. So it's somewhere there. The node is already there, but we can't see the new surface. That's because Maya does not really know how we mean this kind of attachment. And we need to help Maya in order to get this right so that we can see the attachment. So we go to the NURBS torus shape and for example here you have the start sweep and the end sweep and you, here you have the minus sweep. It's uh, basically it opens the torus from the from the horizontal side and uh, we can reduce this and with some playing around with the parameters we all of a sudden get an attached surface. Let's stick to this now and hide the torus and the previous surface, H. So this is the new surface now. We can, of course, give it a nice material, the blue one. Now is this an intact NURBS surface? It sure is. If you want to com convert it to a polygon in order to use it in a, in a mesh world, you can, of course, but before you do that, I would recommend you to rebuild it. Currently it has 32 by 38 spans, so it's quite intense. Maybe we can rebuild it using our 20 by 20 measures, which I just did. When you have the Rebuild tab open, which is here, Rebuild Surface, you can decide where you want to have your spans and how many you want to have. So in case you don't have as many as you want, you just change this um, number here. So you don't have to stick to 20 by 20. I don't need as many in this direction here, the, uh, in the long, longer direction, but I need quite a few in this direction. You see that the surface is getting more elegant the more patches you have here. You can rebuild the surface in direction of U, which is this direction, the long direction, or in V, or in both directions. I think U is just right for here. You might be familiar with the construction history in Maya. It basically means that the current geometry in this case does not forget about where it came from. So for example, when we go back to the torus and un unhide it, uh, that's shift H, the torus, this is the torus here. Let me change the color. When we change that torus, for example, its position, the surface adopts accordingly. And once you're happy with it, do select it and then you go to modify and convert and convert the NURBS to polygons. Use the option box because the default settings are, let me show you, set to triangles but this you can already see it's quads here it's not triangle geometry so check quads here and apply it and then you have a polygon surface which uh, is called NURBS to poly 1 and when you put it to the side or lower down, 
it resembles the original NURB surface, it's just not as elegant from the flow of curves. And that depends on how you convert it. You can convert it with as many faces and patches as you like. And now time for rendering this and some other objects I tried out. Have a nice day. Bye bye.